the last year or so, there have been several incidents, including Sarah Everard's very sad murder. Obviously, the person involved is no longer part of the police, but at the time was an acting officer. Do you understand why people across the country and in Wiltshire, some of them have lost faith in the police's ability to protect women? I do understand it. Um, I I watched that unfolding in the media as as everyone else did, um, and it was to say it was upsetting is is the the, the biggest understatement you could ever make. Um, had he not been a police officer, it would have been deeply upsetting. The fact that he was a police officer for for all of those police officers out there who joined the service for absolutely the right reasons, as I said before, because they want to help people, they want to protect people, they want to put bad people in prison. Um, for all of those good police officers out there, that happening just, just got them at their core. A member of our policing family had betrayed us in that way, had breached the trust of every woman in this country in such an, such an extreme way. So I watched it all unfolding and even, you know, take out the fact that I'm a police officer to see that I can understand why, why the communities and why the women out there in the UK now, now had that, that broken trust in the police service. Um, what happened, we can't ignore, you know, that, that's why all of this work's being done nationally and in Wiltshire, because we need to do everything we can to make sure that something like that can never happen again. And one of the issues for many members of the public with the Sarah Everard case, looking back, is the fact that Wayne Cousins displayed some behaviour that was seen by other officers that was seen as predatory, sexist. And although you can't predict the severity of what happened further down the line, there were red flags along the way. In Wiltshire Police, what's the culture like if people see sexist behaviour within the force? Do they call it out or is it brushed under the carpet? Um, well, it's difficult for me to talk for every member of Wiltshire Police, but we have a really effective counter corruption unit and professional standards unit. Um, I used to work within that setting. I haven't done for a number of years. The fact that those behaviours there with Wayne Cousins is shocking, you know, that th those behaviours were clearly there. They've been witnessed by others and perhaps, you know, appropriate action wasn't taken. We have had cases in Wiltshire, um, as you say, not to this, clearly not to the same severity, but we have had cases um, where we have had predatory behaviour by police officers and it has been dealt with. That's not to say I'm not naive to say that we've got it completely right. Um, I, I couldn't ever say that, you know, I think we need this needs to be a sustained effort. We can't just have a campaign, have a short period of time where we have a focus on this, think it's all sorted out and move on. This will have to be a sustained um, focus indefinitely because it's that important. 